Well, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Blair Lamb and I make content about all the different parts of my life. One of my favorite topics to make content about are our family Disney trips. And so the beginning of Disneyland content begins now. I am so excited to share with you all. So I thought in this video I would give you a little introduction to the videos and vlogs that are to come, a little bit more about our trip in general, some details on plans why we decided to do Disneyland in California as opposed to Walt Disney World in Florida. Expectations, hopes, dreams, all of it. I'm just excited to share all of it with you. So the funny thing is that when this video goes up, it will be in the middle of our trip. And so if you are not subscribed to me on Instagram, you can subscribe now and get day by day, day in the life in real time updates which I have shared for quite a while now, over a year now. Every day I share all about what I'm doing that day, what new clothes I've bought, what I'm eating, what we're up to, all of that just in real time. Um, and then in Disney World, well, this time Disneyland, typically we go to Disney World, but in Disney World, Disneyland, or any other vacation, I share a lot of extra special content just for my Instagram subscribers. And then when I get back from the trip, I take my vlog footage and put that all together. So I'll pop on the screen here from our last trip to Disney World last December. We did like a split stay at the Grand and then Wilderness Lodge and it was so much fun. And every day I just took loads of stories and pictures and shared those with my Instagram subscribers. So I just wanted to put that out there first because I have had so many people say, please make sure you share on Instagram stories. And I do. And that's that. So if you want to subscribe, it's $4.99 a month. You can join me there. If not, there will be a lot of content here on YouTube and I will be so excited to have you there as well. To make sure that you don't miss anything, I do invite you to go ahead and subscribe here on YouTube and turn on the bell for notifications so that as all of this Disneyland content is released, you don't miss anything because let me just tell you, the YouTube algorithm can get a little funny and you might miss out on content you really wanna see. So make sure you're subscribed actively and that the bell icon is on. Okay, jumping into a little bit about this trip. First of all, we have been a Walt Disney World family for years. We have gone on many, many trips starting in 2016. And um, we've done, I couldn't even count up now, but we've done two Disney cruises and then I would say six, seven, eight, nine maybe Walt Disney World trips and each one of those has been about a week long. So we've spent quite a bit of time as a family in Walt Disney World in Florida and we absolutely loved it. We've stayed at several different resorts, have just loved every, like we just really, really enjoy it. And we, I have had for years, ever since I've been sharing these vlogs on YouTube um, of our trips, I have had so many people say, when are you going to Disneyland in California? When are you going? And it has always been a, like, I don't know, this is not a good time, I don't know. There's just always been a reason why it's easier to go to the place that we know better. But this year, I just decided I really wanted to try something new. And so we are doing Disneyland in California for the very first time. Part of that decision was just wanting to have a new Disney experience. And the other part of that is that the more I hear about Disneyland and especially from other parents with young kids, the more I am so interested in a more sort of low key setting. So in Walt Disney World in Florida, it is so enormous that you are taking the monorail or a boat or buses or if you've rented a car, a rental car, everywhere. Or the Skyliner, which is super fun too. Everywhere you're going, there's lots of transportation. Whereas in Disneyland, you can stay on property, which we are, and I'll get to that in a second, and then you can just walk to the two different parks. And people say it is just a lower key setting, a lower key vibe. It's really nice with strollers and little kids that you can just easily walk anywhere that you would want. So that is like really, really exciting to me and very interesting to me, the thought of not having to do the transportation. That may be my number one, the most difficult part with two little kids in Disney World is, um, you know, the monorail is pretty easy. If I'm able to keep the stroller intact without collapsing it when I use a boat for transportation in Disney World, 
that's fantastic. The buses have not been fantastic for us as a family with two little kids because the kids are like trying to run all over the bus. Sometimes they're really crowded. We have to break down the stroller completely. And the stroller is like our mobile home in Disney World. We have it packed out, so it's kind of a lot. None of these are like make or breaks, but it is a little bit of a nuisance. And I really think I'm going to enjoy and our whole family will enjoy the walkability and just the low key ease of Disneyland. More than that, maybe, is that Disneyland is where it all started. It is the original. It is the original. And I think there's something so exciting about that to get to experience that and really be like where it all started up. I just think that I'm really, really going to enjoy that. So we have never been, I should have probably prefaced this whole video with that. We have never as a family been to Disneyland. My husband Riley, 10 or 15, it has to be more than 10 years ago, closer to like 15 years ago, went to Disneyland for one singular day. And at that time, the day that he went was the busiest day in park history. It was like on the news and stuff. And he said he had a really good time, but it was packed, you know, it was super packed and it was just one day and he only just did Disneyland. He didn't do Disney California Adventure, which is the other park, there's two. And so he is really looking forward to coming and seeing it. You know, it's been a long time, but also spending more time in the parks and being able to really soak it up in a bigger way. So as far as hotels, I looked at all options. I looked at off-site hotels that are like partner with Disneyland. Like there was a Courtyard Marriott that I was looking at that looked fantastic. There was actually quite a few hotel options that really looked good that were not Disney properties. However, the more I looked into it, the more I thought I actually would really like to stay on a Disney property while we're there because that will make everything really easy and you get some extra magic hours. I don't know. I think they call it early park entry now or something like that. So we are staying at the Disneyland Hotel. Now we have, like I said, never been there. So it was a combing through of various people's blogs, vlogs, reviews, photographs, like everything to make the decision between the three Disney properties that they have. And I landed on the Disneyland Hotel because it just seemed to check all of the boxes for us. It seemed like it had a lot of that history and nostalgia. People kept on all these different websites. They were describing it as like, it just feels like you're in this like wonderful Disney history bubble. And I thought that sounded really fun because that's such a perk to us of going to Disneyland where it all started. Um, obviously the convenience factor of it, the price was less than the Grand Californian Hotel, which is a hotel I would love to stay at. Um, but I just felt like there were several reasons why I just felt like the Disneyland Hotel was gonna actually be a really good fit for our family for this trip. So that's what we're going to do. And um, gosh, we are just so excited. So I'll kind of walk you through some of the details of the trip and things that we're hoping to do. and. When I get back, obviously, well, you can watch the vlogs and then also I can do a recap video or like a Q&A video of some kind and kind of go over all of these things um, in a more detailed and um, condensed fashion rather than throughout, you know, day-to-day -day vlogs. It is extremely windy here today, so I'm sorry if the camera is picking that up. <laughs> I feel like every time I go to film, it's either pouring down rain or windy, and it has been pouring down rain all day. The rain just stopped, but now it's super windy. So, okay, so our trip is a five day, four night trip. We will arrive in California and we are flying into the John Wayne Airport, which is the, the letters for it are SNA, which is a, from what I understand, smaller airport, definitely a lot smaller than LAX, and is only a 15 mile drive from SNA to Disneyland. And that was extremely appealing to me, extremely appealing to me. Um, just travel logistics with our two kids. We have a four year old daughter and a two year old son. So having Anything logistically made easier for us is the biggest win. It is such a big win. So I thought that that sounded great. So we will be flying out of Dallas and then we will arrive at SNA at two o'clock in the afternoon. And we have a car service coming to pick us up. I originally booked the shuttle that you can book as you're checking out on Disneyland.com. And I was, you know, booking the hotel. You can also add a shuttle ride on there. I originally did that, but I ended up canceling that one and booking it separately. It was, the price differential was actually very small 
because the company that we're going with has like certified car seats that they install for you, which is really, really nice because having to bring two car seats in addition to a pretty big stroller, luggage, and two children is a lot. So instead, we're going to try out this company that provides the car seats for you, and they were very thorough. They asked me whether I needed them rear-facing or forward-facing, which we need one of each, and um, just it was just been really great. They have phenomenal five-star reviews all over the internet. Everyone seems to just have like phenomenal experiences with this company, this car company. I forget the name of it in this moment, but I can write it down here below if you are heading out there. I obviously can't give a review yet. All I can say is that I've heard really good things about it. So um, we are going with them. So they will pick us up at two o'clock. I actually just got a text message confirmation saying, you know, we will be there for you. We will get picked up and head over to the Disneyland Hotel. We will get then get checked in, um, freshen up a little bit. I will film a short little room tour. That's always like at the one of the very first things I do before the room starts getting kind of unfurled. <laughs> um, and then we are going to go into Disneyland and um, spend the afternoon and evening there. We don't have any reservations, dining reservations that day. We are just going in and just enjoying our time um, kind of scoping it out, getting a feel for it. And just, I, I'm, I'm really excited. I have this feeling. I'm always excited to go on any trip. I really love to like get out of town and go do something, especially Disney trips. But I have this feeling that this trip is going to be like incredibly special and just very meaningful or something. I, I don't know. There just feels like there's this like weight to this trip. Like it's going to be really awesome. And I'm, I'm just feeling super excited about it in a lot of ways. So that's how we're going to spend tomorrow evening. I'm sure we'll just grab something easy to eat for, you know, lunch, dinner, probably a little treat in the evening and uh, head back home. I will confess that we are going into this without very much research, which if you know me, I really like to research and dive in and plan, 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 plan. But I just decided that on this trip, we were going to kind of just feel it out see how things go, make changes on the fly. I've heard that that's a big difference between Disneyland and Disney World is that you are able to do that. So here's hoping that that's true and that we can make changes on the fly a little bit easier. Although we do do that in Disney World and we seem to have a pretty good time with it there as well. So we'll see. All right, so that was Thursday that I just described, our travel day. Then Friday, we're gonna wake up, hopefully get into Disneyland relatively early. Um, and what we're going to do is meet up with a longtime online friend of mine who I've never gotten to meet in real life named Hannah, and she owns a photography business out of Southern California. It's called Captured by Hannah Rose. I will link it below. And we are gonna meet up with her and do a little mini photo session and I am so excited to have some photos. I bought my daughter Nora this like really cute tool pink kind of princessy but like play dress and my son I got like a little white short sleeved button down and then I think Riley my husband and I will just wear something pretty casual like jeans and a top or whatever. I really want some cute pictures of them. So we're just gonna, I think it's only going to be about 30 minutes or so, just take some photos around a couple of places in the parks and then in the park, and then we will get our day kind of rolling from there. So on this trip, I did purchase both a park hopper and a Genie Plus option. Um, which are both add-ons to the base tickets. I wanted as much flexibility as possible, and both of those things provide a lot of flexibility, and Genie Plus with little kids is just worth its weight in gold. I think it's it makes it a lot easier if, you know, since I'm not heavily, heavily planning to be able to utilize that Genie Plus instead of waiting in long lines. Like a four and a two year old just don't, it just doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't really work out that well. Um, so that'll be that night. And um, either that night or the following night, I did get a reservation for dinner at, I believe it's called Blue Bayou. That's a place that when I had originally announced that we were going on this trip, many, many people said, make sure you go to Blue Bayou. So I'm very excited about that. For dinner, um, we only have two reservations for um, meals and that's one of them. We might make more on the fly. Like I said, we will just have to see kind of like how it goes. So that's gonna be Friday. Again, not a lot of plans. I just wanna like see the park, ride all the rides, see everything, enjoy. I'm, I'm very, very excited to explore it for the first time with like new eyes and, and I think it is gonna be really neat. 
So it's gonna be Friday. I think that I think that, that is the night of our reservation. And then the next day will be Saturday and we're doing California Adventure on that day, which is the other park. Although because we have park hoppers, I bet we will have been in that park already, but this is like, we're planning to start our morning there. Um, and it, again, we're going to explore, just enjoy all the different parts of it and see what we get up to. I also would like to walk around downtown Disney one of these afternoons or evenings, so I'm gonna throw that out there as well. <clears throat> shop, eat, find something to do. I think that could be really fun. We would probably enjoy swimming at the pool. So I'm going to bring swimsuits for our family so that we can do that if the weather's nice. The weather forecast is a little bit all over the place. Um, the mornings and evenings are going to be chilly. It's going to be pretty warm in the middle of the day, like maybe 70 degrees and or a little more. And then there's a couple of days where there's a small chance of rain. So I really don't know exactly what's going, what it's going to look like. The next video after this that will be up on my channel will be a packing vlog and you will see that we are just packing all kinds of things because <laughs> we're just not sure <laughs> what we're going to need. Um, so we're bringing lots of options and layers depending on the weather of that day. So that'll be Saturday and then Sunday, which will be our last full day. We are starting the day in Disneyland. Well, actually, we're starting the day with a storybook brunch at... I forget what the, if that's the full name or not, I should have this all in front of me, but those of you who are Disneyland pros, you will know what I'm talking about. The storybook brunch that has, I think it's called Storybook Dining Brunch and it's at the Grand Californian. So I thought that would be a cool opportunity for us to see that resort and walk the grounds a little bit. And then also it is a character brunch breakfast and I think our reservations around 10 a.m. So I think that'll be a nice more slow morning maybe after we've been going at it for a few days in a row. So we'll get up, get dressed and go walk over there and enjoy brunch with some characters. My kids will probably really love that. And then that will be, you know, the first thing that we do on Sunday and then we'll decide where we want to go after that. You're able to park hop within Disneyland as early as 11 a.m. So we're not really beholden to whichever park we made a park reservation at because of that. We can, I mean, it's only a few hours in the morning and by 11, we can go ahead and go to whichever of the two parks that we would like. So Sunday, that's how we're going to kick it off. And then the rest of the day, we'll just be doing whatever our last things that we want to do are. So walking around downtown Disney, doing shopping, Disneyland, Disney California Adventure, hanging out at a hotel, swimming, like whatever we are feeling like doing as a family, that's what we'll do on Sunday. And then we depart Monday very early in the morning. I was a little bit bummed because the only nonstop flight option that worked with the airline that we were using, because it's the one that we have points with and all of this, was very early in the morning. There's only one nonstop. And I do not like flying with layovers with kids in general and definitely not at this time of year because it's the spring, there's lots of storms and I it can just go so sideways if you have a layover and then like one of the two flights is delayed, whatever. With kids that just was, did not feel worth it to me. So we don't have park passes for that last day for Monday. We will get up and we will be leaving I think at like 6 a.m. We'll be on our way to the airport. I think our flight flies out really early 8 a.m. or something like that so it's going to be a you know a, a non disney day sadly on monday it will just be a travel day for us there's always a silver lining though and the flip side of that is that by the time we get home it will still be pretty early in the day we can do laundry i will place a grocery order to be delivered to our house like just we can get back into the swing of our routine before tuesday morning hits and we're like you know on the ground running so that's an overview of our trip i would say what i'm most looking forward to is what i mentioned earlier which is seeing where it all began and feeling that sort of nostalgic feeling that people describe in disneyland Another thing, as I said before, that I'm also very much looking forward to is the size and scale and walkability of Disneyland in comparison to Disney World. It's just so different. Very much looking forward to that. Um, and then just new rides, Cars Land, new food options, just it being new and different like is very appealing to me to see something and experience something for the first time. So we are... We have been, I should say, a Disney World family going to Disneyland for the first time. We are so excited about it. Um, I just think it's going to be a really fun trip. I think my kids will have an amazing time and they're getting to the age now where they really understand travel and like we just traveled for Easter recently and they were both 
angels on the airplane, which I cannot say has been the case all of the time. We've had some rough flights, but they were amazing, really good. And so I'm thinking like we're, we're getting there you know, to where they're a little bit older, they understand a little bit more, and they're still young, but they're they're awesome. So very much looking forward to spending the time with them and with my husband as a family unit exploring this new place. So that's the overview of Disneyland. Like I said, the next video that will be out on my channel will be a packing vlog, and I hope you enjoy that, just getting everything together for our trip. And then after that, we'll begin the days. So I will vlog Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'll probably combine Sunday and Monday together because Monday will be such just a short saying goodbye to our hotel room and getting to the hotel. I might not even vlog anything that day. It might not be worth it. Um, if we buy some fun things, I'll share those. I will share what we're eating. I will share what we ride, wait times, weather, impressions. I will share it all. You know, I love, love, love. If you're new and you found this video, I have so many, I think almost like 60 to 70 Disney videos and vlogs that I can link in my Disney playlist. I also have an Amazon storefront that has all of my Disney favorites and Disney travel essentials and then just like general travel essentials, kid essentials, all of those are linked um, if you are heading on a Disney World or Disneyland or Disney Cruise trip soon and you want some of that. So. I'm very excited. I will see you guys back here shortly with a packing vlog and then we will dive into day by day vlogs. I really appreciate you being here. Again, I invite you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything. And uh, leave me a comment below if you've been to Disneyland, what your favorite parts of it are, what surprised you the most about it, or if Disneyland is your home park. Um, what surprised you most about Disney World. I would, I, it's like very interesting to hear people who have been to one or the other. Anyway, thanks for being here. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.